edema is accumulation of extra fluid in the interstitial space or body cavity so increasing the interstitial fluid volume the extracellular fluid contains one third of body water which is about 14 liter two third of the body water being the intracellular which is 28 liter so the extracellular fluid two portions are the vascular compartment and the interstitial compartment in which there occur extra fluid accumulation the interstitial compartment comprises of 75 percent of the extracellular fluid which is about 10.5 liters and the blood plasma that contains 25 percent of the extracellular fluid which is about 3.5 liters now pathophysiology of edema there is a lot of exchange between the vascular and interstitial compartment without fluid accumulation in the interstitial spaces this is static physiologic homeostatic environment is maintained by starling forces between these two compartments fluid goes out from the blood vessels at the arteriolar end of the capillaries into the interstitial space and goes back into the blood vessels at the venular end of the capillaries and by lymphatics without excess fluid accumulation in the interstitial space pre-capillary constriction lowers the filtration pressure whereas post capillary constriction raises the starling forces in the vascular and interstitial compartment are number one hydrostatic pressure and plasma oncotic pressure the hydrostatic pressure pushes the fluid into the other compartment whereas plasma oncotic pressure keeps the fluid in the same compartment so the hydrostatic pressure pushes fluid in the blood vessel into the interstitial space and the interstitial compartment pushes the fluid back into the blood vessel whereas plasma oncotic pressure in the blood vessel keeps the fluid in the blood vessel and the plasma pressure in the interstitial spaces tries to keep the fluid in the interstitial spaces so the hydrostatic pressure in the vascular system and colloid oncotic pressure in the interstitial space they cause movement of the water and solutes from the vascular to the interstitial compartment at the arterial end of the capillaries whereas the hydrostatic pressure in the interstitial space and the plasma oncotic pressure in the vascular system causes the movement of the water and solute from interstitial space to the blood vessel at the venular end of the capillaries and an imbalance between the hydrostatic and plasma oncotic pressure causes fluid accumulation or edema formation in the interstitial space